I've always wondered why it was so hard for me to learn to dance. Yet, I can learn new sports pretty readily. Was it all about strengthening my muscles? Or was there something about my brain that made one skill easier to learn than another? So I sought to figure this out. If we could better understand this, we could perhaps help people learn more quickly and to a higher level of proficiency. For example, a child learning math, a stroke patient learning to walk again, or me learning to dance like Fred Astaire. <laughs> it is well documented that the brain changes during learning. With practice, the neurons that make up our brains can change the way in which they are wired up, and this, in turn, changes the patterns of activity that are produced by the brain. However, it is not well understood how these changes support our improvements in sports, dancing, or other skills. Consider the simple task of moving a computer mouse with your hand, an everyday skill that we often take for granted. Your brain sends signals down the spinal cord to move your hand. For thousands of patients worldwide, this pathway is cut off. And as a result, these patients are no longer able to move their hand. So to help these patients, what we can do is to feed their brain activity into a computer, and the computer can interpret whether they would like to move the cursor to the left or to the right. In other words, the person can move the cursor 